many buildings are not protected, by, protected from lightning. Part of the problem is that traditional lightning rods are an eyesore. People do not want to protect their homes, and the government does not protect many monuments and buildings with fine architecture. Uh, so to, to, to deal with this, and to offer a lightning rod that is less susceptible to harsh gusts of wind, um, I created this self-raising lightning rod. It predicts when there is a risk of lightning and raises the rod accordingly. So as you can see, all of the electronics are wrapped and protected from the elements. So if I take this off, which is normally screwed down tight, um, you can see the electronic parts of this. We have a barometric pressure sensor, which measures and logs the barometric pressure. While you do not need precipitation for lightning, you do need storms in a cloud. So this predicts when there's a storm risk based on whether the barometric pressure is low and whether, based on past readings, it is falling. And then based on that, it decides whether or not there's a risk and it decides to raise or lower the lightning rod. Um, so in terms of the actual mechanism, I took this off of a satellite dish and I got it working again and it's an industrial motor, um, an industrial mechanism. So this will definitely really hold up in use. Um, and so I just bolted all of this down to a metal plate which can easily be put on a roof or attached to a roof. So I'm going to demo it now. So as you can see, it raises quickly and easily, uh, no time at all. Um, and the reason it, raised, it rose is that there actually is a lightning risk today. Um, we're going to have some snow and precipitation later. So because there's a storm, it is raising it in case we have lightning then. So as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, and this project is a idea that could really uh, help to protect everyone's homes and historical monuments.